So I want to hear about uh, some of these automations that you know, you've got, you've got your walk down to the office and they help you out. You mentioned before, like you're a forgetful person. I yep. am always, I, I don't know what it is. I think my wife always says, you know, oh, you just have a bad memory, but I'm thinking that it's more like I just don't retain stuff that I just think is not necessary. Like, you know, if I get a, you know, go go to, to the kitchen and, you know, get something out, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't need to retain that in long-term memory. So I, I forget about it. Right. Yep. Um, so I'm very interested to know like how you're using home assistant to help you around the house, like with some of these mundane things that, you know, I would consider not important or just routine stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, so the first one that I did when I, when I started getting set up and this was on, um, um, one of the other YouTube channels and, um, I needed to write them all down and I forgot. Um, but it's a, <laughs> it's a morning briefing because you know, I don't pay attention to weather. Yep. I forget what's on my sure, calendar. Sure. Sure. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm not always paying attention to what the battery status is. So I started to wrap all of these things into a, Hey man, listen, this is, this is what's going on today. So, you know, it looks at the weather to include any of the weather alerts for our area. And it tells me, um, garbage, whether it's a garbage day or not, or a recycling day and whether I need to put, make sure that that's out or not, that's in there. Yeah. Yep. Um, whether somebody has emptied the washing machine from the night before. So the stuff's been oh, sitting overnight yeah, and, good. Yeah. you know, getting, getting a little stinky, the battery status of anything, how long it's going to take me to get to work. Cause this is Northern Virginia and traffic is atrocious on mm -hmm. a good day. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I can start to see, if, you know, is there already an accident between me and work and, you know, do I need to move faster? Um, and then because I'm a space guy, I also um, pull in the, the upcoming, uh, the next space launch. So I know nice. what country it's from, where it's coming, what the payload is and stuff like that, just because wow. that's, that's my thing. Um, and then the part that I thought was really cool for me was um, it actually pulls the latest, it's a five minute news headline podcast from mm -hmm. NPR. Okay. Um, so okay. once it's done sort of giving me the voice to text, then it kicks over and it pulls the podcast and it plays five minutes worth of news headlines. Um, yes. so I, that way I didn't have to try and automate an RSS feed and do voice to text yeah. on that. It just pulls the podcast and plays it. Um, so that was pretty neat. So by the time, you know, you know, seven minutes of, of getting ready in the morning, I've got, you know, what my house has been up to and then what the rest of the planet's been up to overnight, which is kind of neat. Yeah. And just on, so ha I was going to ask how you're delivering that briefing. So I'm guessing it's text to speech and then followed by a podcast that then plays yeah. for five minutes of the news headlines. How yeah, um, is the briefing triggered? Like, is it automated? Like you get out of bed and a motion sensor picks up that, or do you have to actually ask for the briefing to start? Like how do you. So, so right now it's, it's, I scan an NFC tag with my phone. Yeah. Um, I put the tag behind the light switch in the bathroom. Um, yeah. But I, you know, again, I want to get to the point where it's just part of my day. Right. Yeah. So one of the things that I got really excited about as far as the, the morning briefing was, um, the Bluetooth toothbrush. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes. You know, so I would love it if, and, and you know, I've, I've used this a couple of times and I can talk about that one next is the Bayesian sensor. Yes. Um, yeah, being yeah. able to wait certain things. Right. So, you know, if, if my phone's not charging, if the lights on in the bathroom and my Bluetooth, you know, toothbrush is active, then it's highly likely that I'm getting ready in the morning. And so go ahead and deliver the briefing. Um, you know, things, things like that. Um, what, are, are really fun. And that's kind of where I want to go with it is, you know, I don't want to have to scan anything. I don't want to have to push any buttons. Yeah. I just want the house to go, Oh, he's in the bathroom and getting ready. I'm going to give him the briefing. So yeah, on that, I, when I was first starting out with home assistant and home automation, that was one of the, my things, right? Like, you know, I always wanted, I was always impressed by the Jarvis morning briefing, right? Like, good morning. This is your thing. Right. And so I would have it, uh, whenever someone went into the kitchen, um, for the first time in the morning, um, that was it. The house would go from night mode to morning mode because someone's awake. That's it. Yep. I need to wake up. Blinds would go up, um, everything, right? And the briefing would start. And the briefing was, you know, good morning. Um, this is the temperature, what it's going to be today, blah, blah. And same thing, right? Traffic, if we were driving or whatever. Um, the problem we had was that it just became so routine that we wouldn't listen to yep. the weather, right? And then we're like, oh, what did she say the weather was going to be today? And then you have to end yeah. up and ask, having to ask for the weather question again. 
Um, and which is why I sort of was interested in what you were triggering it on, right? Because I guess if you're actively saying to the NSC tag, I want to listen to this briefing, you're in the zone and you're going to pay attention, right? Right. Um, but for me, when it was walk in the kitchen first thing and I'm hungry and I'm looking for breakfast and then it starts playing the briefing and I'm not listening out for it, yeah, you sort of, yeah, it can be, it's you got to weigh it up like when to when to play it which yeah yeah and i've i've even noticed that happening to me even though i'm asking for the briefing i get i start thinking about something else and i'm not yeah, fully paying attention yeah. And, yeah. and so i think i think i've found uh, a, a potential solution to that which is passing a bunch of this information to something like chat gpt and have it summarize mm, so that yep. every day it will be slightly different and so you'll have yes, to you'll have to pay idea. closer attention yeah um, and you so one it, of, you just need it yelling, yelling your name once in a while. Just Brian. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, yeah. Hello. Yes. Hi. 